Hi, my name is Laura, and today I'm going to talk about how to organize a life story. Um, organizing a life story, whether it's yours or someone you're writing about, seems like a daunting task because, of course, a life has many different um, experiences within it and lots of small things that you want to include. You don't know whether to include them. Um, you're going to first, of course, want to uh, try to write down everything that you know about this person's life. If it's you, it's going to be very easy. Um, you're going to be writing and writing and writing and writing. Um, when you're done, of course, writing down all these things in maybe an outline format or just a big brainstorming session with yourself, you know, um, good memories, bad memories, you know, what happened in my life, big moments in my life, uh, go back through and weed out the things um, that you, uh, well, I wouldn't say don't want to talk about because you want to try to be honest, but the things that you don't want to be included in the, the life story. Um, so the weaker things, um, you know, for example, did you, did you fall down and hurt your knee one day um, when you were four? Um, is that more interesting um, than your first date? Probably not. So you're going to think about what things to include and what things to omit. Um, then you're going to probably want to try to work in chronological order. But if that doesn't work out and it seems a little boring to you, if you seem to be getting stuck, if you feel like it's more of a chore, to write in chronological order than it is to, you know, than it is fun, then I would say mix it up a little bit. Um, try writing little pieces of your life um, or the person's life, taking them and putting them in different spots. Um, like for example, if your fifth birthday had an impact on your first day of college, you can write the chapter about your fifth birthday right next to your first year of college, or they can even be in the same chapter and blend into each other. Um, you can sort of take liberties with it since it is your life. Um, and you can take liberties with other people's lives too, just as long as you, you know, stay true to them. Okay. So life is not organized. Um, this is the, the real sticker about this particular topic is that organizing a life story is daunting because life is not organized. Things do not happen in a fashion that seems at the time to be, um, predetermined. Um, but writers and artists make it organized. So whenever you can look back on something and you can create it into something new, um, you are making organization out of chaos. So that's actually what you're doing when you're writing your life story is you're taking the moments of your life and you're putting them together to make them make sense. So when you're organizing it, do it however you feel is right and necessary. And that's how to organize your life story.